Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo and this is your Sony E3 press conference recap. All right, I'm up here in Northern California, but Joey is down in LA where he's been all week covering E3 nonstop, all kinds of coverage on technobuffalo.com. And I believe John Rettinger's with him today as well. So I'm doing this little recap of last night's closing performance of the day, the Sony press conference. Not much in the way of new hardware, nothing at all, really a little bit of talk about some new Vita capabilities, uh, but those are features, not new hardware. Instead, it was games, games, and more games as Sony wrapped up Monday's day of E3 press conferences. Uh, first up, the makers of Heavy Rain, Quantic Dreams, took the stage to talk about Beyond, their newest game coming to the PS3. Now, you may have gotten a taste of Beyond when you saw the Quantic Dream short Kara a little while ago. The stuff you saw in Kara is part of Beyond, uh, Beyond a cinematic journey game featuring the voice of Ellen Page. You used to know her as Juno, now you know her as Jody. But Ellen Page supplied the voice as well as the, um, well she did the motion for the motion capture of the character Jody Holmes in the game Beyond. and. Uh, and Beyond looks to be a little bit more of an action thriller than Heavy Rain was, um, and also really shows off some of the facial mapping technology that Quantic Dream has been working on. So Beyond from Quantic Dream. Next up was some never before seen footage from Assassin's Creed 3. And uh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pass along what I heard because I'm not the hardcore gamer in the, uh, in the Buffalo herd, but I've heard Assassin's Creed 3 is a strong contender for best in show at this year's E3. And apparently the never seen before footage was from this massive epic battle scene that has Assassin's Creed fans talking. Uh, so Assassin's Creed 3 living up to the hype with some, some new footage at the Sony press conference. Sony also showed off PlayStation All-Stars. Uh, kind of maybe a Nintendo ripoff here. I don't know. Uh, but the uh, All-Stars Battle Royal, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royal, I think I misspoke the first time. Kind of, kind of a little bit of a of a Nintendo. You can see the influences, let's put it that way. Speaking of Vita, owners of a bleeding edge portable gaming console can play some old, old, old games coming soon. Uh, Sony announcing that a PS1 Classics bundle will be hitting Vita this summer, and that bundle will include favorites such as Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy. Also, uh, Sony recently announced that YouTube was coming to Vita, and now they've announced that Crackle and Hulu Plus are also headed to their portable gaming device. God of War Ascension was next but not last in the Sony lineup, and apparently uh, this one impressed as well with some very, very organic, fluid, violent, violent, violent scenes. Uh, fans of the God of War franchise seem to be reacting pretty favorably to this one, so if you are a fan, and I know there are a lot of you out there, stay tuned for that. And uh, last up in the Sony press conference was The Last of Us, which apparently, quote, blew the roof off the doors off the press conference. If you watch the footage, you tell me, you hit us up in the comments. But uh, from what I've heard, the buzz on The Last of Us was very good. Uh, from gaming development house Naughty Dog, these guys took the cinematic format apparently to a new level, really impressing folks with what they showed off. So, a lot of PS3 titles, a couple of Vita titles. Uh, I think I didn't mention that the Assassin's Creed 2 for Vita will uh, come hand in hand with the first ever white Vita, the Vita available in white and uh, lots of cross console stuff there. Nothing new on the hardware front, but we all know that's coming next year. Even I know that, the new hardware uh, should be previewed sometime next year. But lots of titles, lots of new titles, and some old classics for uh, Vita owners as well. So if you watched the Sony press conference, hit us up with your thoughts. If you didn't, go over to Techno Buffalo, click a link. You can watch, I believe, the replay of the press conference available online. I know it's up on YouTube and some of the channels. Let us know what you think, Sony fans. All right, all of our coverage from E3, from the guys who know, Joey and John Rettinger's down there now, uh, available all week long at technobuffalo.com, and of course our YouTube and Rev3 channels, and you can follow us at TechnoBuffalo. Till next time, I'm going to go back to driving cars around. Cars I know about, gaming not as much, but I'm happy to fill in and bring you the news. My name's Noah, TechnoBuffalo, that's your source. We'll see you later.